Hey guys, welcome back to uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, the video today is about uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. Um, they showed it at E3. Game looked phenomenal. Um, I'm a huge Assassin's Creed fan. I have been since the beginning. Um, real quick before I get into uh, details about the game and stuff. I just want to mention, everyone seems very excited for this game and all these Assassin's Creed uh, people. Oh, I, I love the series. I love it. The last little bit, there was no one liked Assassin's Creed. Everyone griped about it. Everyone complained about it. And now y'all want to turn around and say that you're big fans of the series and this and that. Um, kind of the fair weather gamers, I guess. Um, like I said, I've been a fan since the beginning. Uh, even the ones that they complained about, Unity and all that stuff, I still like those. I really did. Um, but yeah, it's just a, a little annoying thing for true, uh, for a true fan to uh, see all these guys praising the game that just griped about the Assassin's Creed series last year. I've seen on plenty of YouTubers complaining about Assassin's Creed. Oh, Syndicate this and Unity that and just the series is stale and then, then all of a sudden they're praising it. Oh, you know, we've we've been huge fans of the Assassin's Creed series and I'm like But get your story straight for one. If you're a true fan, you go through the good and the bad, and truthfully there isn't really had any bad Assassin's Creed games. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of the Assassin's Creed Chronicle series. Um, but they were bad. They were by no means bad. Um, so, that's what I'm saying. Get your story straight. Uh, but anyway, before I rant about uh, these these uh, wishy-washy fanboys, um, the Assassin's Creed origin looks amazing. It does. Uh, set in ancient Egypt, which is just going to be great. Uh, that's just a fantastic setting for an Assassin's Creed game. Um, play as a guy, I cannot remember his name, um, I apologize, I will learn it eventually, but you are the last of the Magi, uh, which is basically, uh, the way it was explained, and as far as the game goes, you were, they were like an ancient Egyptian sheriff, they would, uh, just kind of, uh, you know, patrol the lands and stuff, stop troublemakers from, uh, disrupting life in Egypt and stuff like that, so, and, um, that's kind of the role you play in this game, um, it just, the gameplay looks really great. They're actually doing a true open world. You're not going to have areas that you cannot synchronize because of memories, from what I understand anyway. Don't don't quote me on that because they've not done that so far. But um, from the gameplay and the map and everything that um, they've been showing and stuff, it's looking very uh, open world like Witcher 3, um, where you're going to be able to patrol the areas. Um, they're also going to have a loot, a new uh, loot system. Uh, where you can use um, the weapons that your enemies, um, you know, drop. But um, no, before you before you go on, you know, because everybody's like, hey, hey, you can do that before. No, these you get to keep and customize and make your own. So um, it showed the example of a um, of him taking out a couple guards, and one of the guards dropped an, uh, a rare like bow um, weapon, you know, like a kind of like a destiny with the uh you know the rare and all that stuff different different levels of weapons and stuff and um you know he picked it up and you know he was using it um also just the the combat looks really good um more uh they actually that was my one complaint about assassin's creed is i hated that you're a deadly assassin and you have to block and counter you can't really go in as the aggressor on this game it's the other way around you can you can battle how you want um it showed him fighting a guy with that was using like a huge like battle mace like a big two-handed mace and he was using uh, one of those scythe swords and a shield and um you know he was battling the guy he also shot uh interesting thing with the bow he was using an ancient technique apparently uh ubisoft has definitely done their homework on this the archer would take a handful of arrows and hold them in his, uh, in the draw hand, and, you know, so he could quickly launch arrow after arrow, so he's getting ready to fight this guy with the mace, and he shoots, like, three arrows really, really quick, and, uh, that was just kind of a cool little detail they've added, 
Um, but yeah, instead of the counter and you know block and counter uh, technique that the, on the previous games, this one you can be more aggressive. You can dodge a lot easier. Uh, it showed him dodging and then hacking, and just it was beautiful. Just the gameplay was just beautiful. Um, it looks like it's going to have a very um, like deep and immersive world. Um, the uh, you know, the Assassin's Creed games, you know, they always have a nice uh, open world feel, but I think this is going to be on a different level um, uh, from what they've been bragging about at Ubisoft. Yeah, this is going to be a uh, just one massive open world that you can, um, you know, immerse yourself in, explore, um, kind of, uh, you know, Skyrim, Skyrim style, Witcher 3 style, whatever, you know, whatever open world RPG you want to use. Uh, they're also going to have a leveling system as well as experience, ability points, and all that stuff um, <clears throat> for you to, uh, you know, explore. So they're definitely taking Assassin's Creed from more of an action-adventure game to more of an action RPG, um, which I am perfectly fine with. That looks, uh, just from everything they've showed, I think they've definitely got a hit on their hands. Um, I think it comes out August, or <laughs> I wish August, October 23rd, I think they said, or 27th. It was uh, in end of October, um, you know, right before November launches. So um, they usually launch them around that time uh, just to take advantage of the holiday season and stuff, which I cannot blame them for that. Um, and I usually always get it. Uh, my wife usually buys it for our anniversary uh, as our anniversary present. Um, our anniversary is in January, but Assassin's Creed comes out at the end of October, so I get my anniversary present really early. Um, that's usually what I want, though, so I'm like, yeah, 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 that's what I want, get it. So, um, we'll see if I get Assassin's Creed for my anniversary. If I do, I'll, I'll do a video for it. Um, but yeah, I've, like I said, I've enjoyed this series from the beginning. Um, the first one I thought got a little repetitive, but after, uh, but it was still, you know, still a good game, and it was very revolutionary for its time. Uh, but I definitely think Origins, apologize about the lighting, I'm going through a tree-lined road here. Um, but yes, Assassin's Creed Origins looks uh, looks to be one of the best in the series, if not the best. Um, I do love that Egyptian setting. Uh, it showed like uh, temple or like temples and uh, pyramids and all that stuff. And it looks to be like you're going to be able to explore those, like challenge uh, challenge tombs and that stuff. Kind of, kind of. Kind of <coughs> I apologize. Kind of. Um, like maybe Tomb Raider or uh, you know some of the some of the early Assassin's Creed games had those uh, the, I remember the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood had quite a few of those and I've always enjoyed those but um, yeah um, it looks like it's shaping up to be a great game sorry about that um, it looks like it's shaping up to be a very fine game um, and I'm super excited for it um, anyway guys that does it for the video if you have any thoughts about the new Assassin's Creed, uh, leave it in the comments below. Um, you know, are you excited for it? Are you done with the series? I mean, I know they've made a lot and a lot of people are done with it, but, you know, that's fine. But, you know, leave it in the comments below. Hope you've liked the video. Hit that like, subscribe, all that good stuff, guys. And this is Dustin's, I don't know.